I have an exciting day ahead. I'm gonna meet Matti Sulanto because we're going to have a photo challenge. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start the challenge, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course about Olympus gear. And this time a photo challenge with a fellow YouTuber and a colleague and a friend, Matti Sulanto. But before I can leave and meet him, I need to do three things. Of course, first I need to pack my gear to my bag. And uh, what I'm gonna bring is the EM10 Mark IV with the 12 to 45 millimeter F4 lens. That's about what I need. I don't need anything else, except of course the video here, but that's not the point on this video. That camera is, and what I'm gonna photograph with it. But the second thing, I need to make a random GPS coordinates because I don't know where I'm going yet. And Matti doesn't know. So I'm gonna generate some random uh, codes with my iPad and Let's see, I will use a website called geomidpoint.com where I can set my starting point and the maximum distance and then choose the location. And if it's going to be in the middle of the sea or the ocean, then I'm gonna <laughs> make another, um, an another place because not this time we don't we don't have a boat but maybe 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 sometime we could do that too but let's see where we are heading oh right it's a industrial area a bit outside of helsinki it's actually another city but it's inside a 20 kilometer radius oh, but of course it's a bit longer way with the car it's 25 kilometers with a car but uh, i'll see you there and yeah, sorry, before I can go, I think it's uh, fair to send Matti the coordinates too. Let me check those coordinates. All right. And there you go. Now Matti has them and now I am ready to go. Let's put the phone in there and see you in Yuvan Malmi. All right, this is the place middle of a industrial area and actually uh, we were quite lucky look at the building behind me i just love these kinds of places they make great images so we were quite lucky today and i'm waiting for Mari, but he's always late always late oh there he is hey peter hi there how are you doing that's not true i'm not always <laughs> how you doing? late only sometimes <laughs> <laughs> only sometimes well today you were all oh, right uh uh i was uh on the way I was, oh, before I, I left, I was talking about the, this thing. Yeah, so, the so, place looks great. Yeah, yeah, and it's just, just a random place because the other option could have been in the middle of a forest or wood somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Or, yes. And it was, a, a, as, I, as I told, it was 20 kilometers, but actually it was 25 by car. It was 20 if I was flying. Yes. But um, I already talked about what I have as a camera because this is also part of this thing that having something and I took my favorite go-to kit. What do you have? Oh, I have uh, I have the Lumix S1R. Oh, okay. And Panasonic is uh, strongly into full frame now and they don't allow me to use any other cameras anymore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You <laughs> yeah. got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's it's a joke. Don't believe me. It's a joke. I yeah. I recently bought, I no. recently bought a new lens for this camera, and that's why I I wanted to take this camera on this Sigma 45. Actually, actually, lens. the size of the lens is not that big if you compare it to this. No, it's okay, not. Okay, it's a bit of a different lens, but anyways, it's, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a small. Other, it's quite otherwise, a small this, lens. otherwise, this is. Yes, it's a small lens. And uh, the whole purpose of this is that uh, getting or going to a random place, and you know what. My camera has a special uh, feature nowadays. You press the record, somebody starts doing something noisy. Yes. I hope that, <laughs> I hope that doesn't bother Some, you guys. Somebody is using an angle grinder or something <laughs> yeah. back there. But let, let's get back to the point why we're here. Well, 
we're here because that's what the random GPS coordinates told us. But the whole point of this is to go to a place that you've never been before. I've never been here. I've been in the area, but not here. Yeah, same here. As, as you can see, this building hasn't been <laughs> in a use for, for many years. And uh, it's to find something to photograph in a totally odd place, which, we, which you would never go to take images. I would not come here no, to never. photograph, but now we're here. It's a good practice, you know. It is. That's, that's what the whole point is. Should we, should we start photographing instead of making yes. lame jokes? I'm talking about GPS. I just connected my camera and phone so I can get the coordinates. So remember where I oh, okay. shot these pictures. That's good. That's <laughs> good. All right, but let's, let's start. Yes, let's go. Hey, Peter, one more thing. How far can I go? Oh, just stay on the premises. This is, quite, this is quite a place. I mean, it looks totally abandoned, but uh, I saw somebody back there, so I guess there's somebody is in there doing something. <laughs> but there are lots of interesting details for sure. <laughs> there's this bike here and it says okay, but uh, it looks like it's pretty far from okay to me, but... Um, it's actually quite interesting that it still has uh, the plate on because it's not moved for a while, this bike. But it might make an, an interesting photo, though. But there is something else there that I want to try first. I saw some old uh, motorcycle tires here that I'm going to try first. I hope there are no big rats hiding under this, uh, what do you call this, green thing. <laughs> okay, F5.6, ISO 100, one tenth of a second. Okay, let's open up the aperture a little bit and... Yes. All right, a nice start. I'm not sure if this is the picture I'm looking for, but it's not bad for a start. Okay, let's move on to the bike. This bike here, this is quite obvious subject, uh, but I'm still gonna use it because it looks so good. Let's see if I can get something from kind of behind here with a very shallow depth of field and uh, all that. All right, this is not a good ad advertisement for Yamaha motorcycles, but I don't care. Yes, I think this looks kind of interesting when I'm shooting through the, the, the weed or whatever this is. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy. I think I've had. I think I have my shots now. It's your turn, Peter. All right, my turn. And there's one thing I did not tell you before. This is a challenge, and which one, Matti or me, is taking the better image wins this challenge. And you are the one who decide. And I will tell you later how to vote for the images. But I know a place on this premises that I will photograph. And, you know, when I start looking and I, I like places where the, you have some kind of a uh, representation, I don't know what the word is, but there's been someone and the place is left after some people. And, but the people are not there. And I think that could make a small story. You start wondering what has happened and why the place has been left like it has been left. But let's see if I can grab that image and tell a story. Because I think storytelling is one of the most important things in photography. But let's see if I can grab some images of this interesting... ...where people have been sitting and smoking. It's a good thing to turn your camera on first. Well, it might be an image, but those look more 
interesting. Now I know where I'm going. Going to take the photograph of that from that side. Alright, I think I got it. And I think these images need to have a 60s black and white or early 70s black and white treatment. All right, that was it. And here are the images, or the one image that we picked. Yeah, one each. One each, yes. And guess what? You can decide which image is better. So was mine better? Most likely, yes. Or Matti's? Not so likely. I'm afraid your <laughs> audience may be biased, but I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah that's true, that's true. If, I'm, if I lose, that's embarrassing on my own channel. But hey, doesn't matter. Make sure he doesn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the instructions can be found in the description of this video. How to vote for the, for the be better image. And the I will... Best, the, best. the best. The best image. <laughs> I will tell the results in a community post in a week. But it was fun. Yes, always fun. Yeah, it was, it was. And here is another video that we made together with Matti. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye for now.